I love play to earn NFT games, but what I love even more is a good RPG. Now the fact of the matter is RPGs take a long time to develop and incorporating NFTs into them is even harder. There are not that many out there so far that are far enough along to be able to be played and to really earn a lot of great rewards, but I'm going to take a look at one that is coming up here on the Binance Smart Chain that I thought was actually really well done and incorporates some great play to earn mechanics. I'm going to break it all down for you and why I think this could be a really fun game to play when it launches. Are you ready? Well, hey there, crypto friends. Thanks again for joining me. So today we're talking all about RPGs. My favorite genre of all time. I love playing RPGs, either online or offline, something with a great story or great multiplayer aspects to it. And now the fact that we can incorporate NFTs into them and play to earn in them makes them even better in my opinion. Now these are the cream of the crop of video games when it comes down to development time. There's nothing that takes longer than creating a really good RPG. So when you look at what's out on the market right now, there are not a lot of good options. There's still a lot of games that are in development. I've covered quite a few of them on my channel in the past, in particular on my Thursday live streams where I dive into all kinds of different NFT games. Uh, but there's nothing that is quite far along to the point where it is red at playable. But I love to give previews of what's coming up so you guys know to get in on the ground floor before it blows up. Today I'm talking about a Binance Smart Chain based RPG that is going to be launching here in sometime in the next year or so called Myst. Now don't get it confused with the old school RPG strategy style game or, or puzzle game called Myst. Uh, but this is a new game that is an NFT play to earn game on Binance Smart Chain. And it has some pretty cool elements. And so I wanted to show you guys a little bit around what they have already put out for this game and why I think it's kind of cool. And uh, we can kind of explore some of it together because I do think this is something that you know, will definitely be interesting to me and something that I would like to play in the future because it, you know, it has those great uh, RPG elements. It already seems like they're, they're weaving a pretty good story from what I've seen so far. And they have a really fire trailer that we're gonna watch together. And I wanna hear what you guys think about this too at the end of the video. But before we get into all of that, if you love gaming, NFTs, and earning money in crypto, then make sure you subscribe to my channel and smash that like button if you want to maximize your gaming profits with me. All right, let's go take a look over at the Mist website and go take a look at what this game is all about and, and uh, why you might want to play it. All right, so here we are over at the Mist gaming website. Uh, like I said, this is not your old school mist that you would think of, uh, you know, that was a, 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 you know, kind of RPG slash strategy game. Uh, but this is a, a, you know, just a straightforward uh, action type of, of RPG uh, that incorporates some really cool elements here. So I want to just take a little bit of a look at what mist is and why it might be interesting and, you know, why you, can, you might want to get it on the ground floor of this game. Because not only does it have NFTs that you can play to earn, but it also has staking as well. And you know I love that combination of gamified NFTs and staking, where there's actually good gameplay. There's a lot of DeFi games out there that are like, hey, it's NFTs and staking and DeFi. And it's like, but you don't really do much. It's not really much of a game. I want a good game first, and then having NFTs and staking as a part of it that makes sense, right? Not just a game that is all around just staking NFTs. That's really the, the ultimate goal for me and for, for what I consider a, a great crypto game, right? So uh, the Mist uh, you know, uh, game is going to be built on Unity and on the Binance Smart Chain. It'll be available on, on Steam here eventually. And they have a really great trailer that I just want to jump into here and, and uh, you know, kind of talk about as we listen to it and, and we uh, check it out here. So let's go take a look at this. It says the first ever ba uh, uh, ever blockchain based RPG on BSC. And that, that is true. So there, like I said, there's only been a few games on Binance Smart Chain, most of them very simple straightforward games and this is going to be a true rpg so you get to collect these nfts for in-game bonuses and so when they say in-game bonuses you know that does have a little bit of a play to pay a pay to play kind of element or play a pay to win we'll say uh so you do have some of these things but there's all kinds of different nfts so there's player skins there's weapons there's all kinds of stuff and you can transfer them in and out like they say so that's pretty cool you're, you're going to be able to sell them on different marketplaces uh, and then they have this this farming and staking element too. So that, that the actual farming in the game, I think, is going to be tied to NFT staking in some sort of way. 
Uh, so I think that's kind of cool. Uh, and then once again, these materials are mining, so you're collecting resources, things, things in the game to be able to do it. And those are going to be linked to the blockchain as well. Uh, you'll be able to train up your characters and you know build unique skills and different trees. So they have some pretty in-depth uh, mechanics here. I love I love the the nature dude transforming into the, the into the bear right there. That's a pretty cool one. <laughs> Uh, and this is going to be a multiplayer game, and that's what we need. We need a good multiplayer game. There's not a ton of uh, NFT multiplayer games out there, so I'm pretty excited about that, too. And so you'll be able to explore these different worlds that they'll have out there and, uh, you know, kind of adventure with your friends in a cool multiplayer style. So I think that's pretty sweet. And, you know, I will say that, you know, as far as the graphics go, there's a little bit something to probably be desired out of the graphics. Uh, but, you know, when, when there's uh, competitions for rewards, things like that, you know, it really comes down to gameplay. You know, gameplay is big for me. I'm not, you know, the graphics, obviously I want the graphics to be good, and uh, particle effects to look good, and, you know, the game to work well. Uh, I can get over the graphics not being the best, as long as there's really great gameplay. And, you know, something like Roblox has really been a game uh, that has shown that that can be possible, right? So that's, that's a little bit about Myst and what they have coming up. I mean, I, the trailer I think is pretty good. They, they do a really good job of describing the game there, of kind of hyping you up. And now what I will say is if you look at the graphics and uh, of the game and the assets of the game, uh, you know, these are what I would consider like stock Unity assets. Now, a lot of people may not know that if you're not a developer or you've never tried to build anything on Unity, but the style of these like low poly graphics uh, the, the, and these, these, you know, the, the different characters and things that you're seeing, the assets in the game. Now, I don't think the team made these from scratch. I think they did purchase a lot of these off of the store, but from what they I've seen in the gameplay, they've done a really great job of incorporating them together and making it a cohesive game. Because we've seen some very similar assets in games like Light Knight, and we know for sure that those games are purchased directly from the, the Unity store and used in their game to make the game. So they're not creating uh, assets from scratch. So that's why I think the gameplay really needs to be the focus here, and I really hope it is going to be the case with Myst. Uh, so because you know, like I said, we're, we're, we're you know we can sacrifice on some of the graphics as long as gameplay is good. Now, one of the cool things, like I said, they have all these really sweet NFTs, and you can see like it, even though they, like I said, they may be default assets, they've done a really good job with the particle effects and making them look really cool. Like I love I love Ember Ursus, like this cool sweet bear right here. I want to be able to, like to be like the the ranger guy who is going to transform into a bear and I can have that NFT, right? And so one of the other things we talked about is the staking. So you can, uh, the, the mist token is going to be a central part of this game. And, uh, you know, because this game uses what they call their mist gaming framework and NFT token framework. And so the mist token is going to be a big part of this. And uh, you'll be able to use the, you know, the token can be staked and used for farming inside and outside the gaming universe. So you'll be able to get rewards that you can use in game or outside of game as well. So I think that's pretty cool uh, to have that element, right? And, uh, you know, they do a really cool cool job of, like, uh, putting together the different uh, classes. So you have Crusader, you have Enchanter, you have Ranger, Shapeshifter was the one I thought was really cool. <laughs> Turns into a sweet-ass bear, like, that one's so cool. Uh, and then Witch Hunter. And they all kind of have their own uh, abilities and, and uh, skill trees you'll be able to, to use there. So, a uh, really interesting uh, game here and the look of, of this. And so they don't really go into a lot of detail here on the website of when they're actually going to be launching the game. I'm going to assume that uh, it's not going to maybe be this this year, but maybe early next year. Uh, this They they haven't uh, been out for too long, right? So the, this website has been up for a little while. Uh, so they, they really need to, to probably do a little bit better job of putting some more information on there. Uh, but I do think that this is uh, something to look forward to. And the fact that it is one of the very first uh, games here on Ethereum, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, on, on Binance Smart Chain, you know, that, that has that bridge to Ethereum, uh, there's a lot of possibilities there, you know. Uh, you know, when you have first mover advantage, you, you always there's always a good a good thing there when it, when it comes down to an RPG like this, and there's a first mover advantage. Uh, you're doing something a little bit unique on on a, on a blockchain that does not have that particular game on it or that particular style. Uh, I do think it'll get adopted pretty quickly. So uh, that's a little bit about the Mist game. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Is this a game that you would play? Are you a big RPG fan or do you prefer FPS? Uh, or, or what do you think about this game? Do you like the graphics? Do you think it's all about gameplay? I want to hear what you think in the comments. Uh, that's all we have for today, though, folks. Until next time, stash that crypto, friends.